Weddings usually mean flowers, but the impending nuptials at the Begum family home in Smallheath will be infused with an altogether more pungent odour. Mounds of refuse left by striking bin men will greet their guests and linger forever in their wedding photos. It's really annoying. Whenever we're just walking past, it just smells. And it's like coming in the way of you. And like people are bringing their rubbish towards our side as well when there's overflows. It's really, it gets really frustrating. This scrap between a Labour controlled council and a Labour union has lasted four weeks now. And it is set to rumble on for four weeks more. It is about changes to shift patterns and the downgrading of some jobs. This strike is not about a striking for more money. This strike is about retaining their current terms and conditions. It's got a massive impact on us, that's why we've got to stand together. I've got a young child, I've got a mortgage, I've got bills to pay. It's not the rest of us. You know, it's a massive hit to take, this is. A massive, massive hit. In a bid to clear the backlog, the council is now collecting recycling and household waste together. To the dismay of environmentalists. They're sending recycling paper to be burnt in the incinerator or sent to landfill. And it's, you know, it's a waste of money. There is value in the paper. It's not £90 per tonne uh, of paper, the value of it. So it's about £30,000 per week they're burning. That's to say nothing of the fines the cash-strapped council will have to pay when it inevitably misses recycling targets. They say this is a temporary measure, but there is no sign of an agreement. A bad summer for brides in Birmingham, a good summer for vermin. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.